Hello friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the circulatory system of the human body. The main function of the circulatory system is to carry through the blood the nutrients to the cells of our body. It is formed by the heart, arteries and veins and its proper functioning is essential for us to have good health. I have a curiosity. Do you know how much all of the arteries and veins would measure together, put in single file? They would measure 96,000 kilometers, which would be equivalent to almost two and a half laps of the year. It's incredible, right? The heart has the main role in making sure that the blood travels around the body. With its 100,000 pulsations per day, it ensures that blood circulates throughout our body, allowing it to distribute oxygen and nutrients into our cells. We're going to start a journey through the circulatory system so we can understand it much better. The journey of blood begins in the heart. With the pulsations of the heart, the blood comes out through one of the greatest highways of the circulatory system, called the aorta. From that moment, blood flows through our body, through many veins. During this trip, the blood is delivering oxygen and nutrients to the cells through the capillaries. It reaches the neck, head and brain through one side. From there, the blood continues to flow into our arms, then through the aorta, around the thorax and abdomen, and finally reaching both of our legs. As this trip is circular, that is to say, it has no end, the blood starts the trip back to the heart to regain nutrients and oxygen. The blood that returns from the lower part of the body flows through the inferior vena cava. The one that returns from the arms and head travels through the superior vena cava. All that blood reaches the lungs, where it gets oxygenated and returns back to the heart. There, the journey starts again. The truth is that it is incredible that blood is permanently traveling inside our body. Don't you think? Well, now you know a little bit more about the circulatory system. But before saying goodbye, we want to remind you that for our body to work well, we have to do a lot of physical exercise and have a balanced diet. You have to eat vegetables, fruit and fish, and reduce eating sugar and sweets as much as you can. And of course, spend less time sitting in front of the TV or the computer. So now you all know, right? Now everyone, go to run and jump. Goodbye friends. Oh, and do not forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello friends. Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. We all know what blood is. It's that red stuff that comes out of our body when we injure ourselves. <laughs> but, do you really know what blood is? Or what it is used for? Blood is essential to keep us alive as it transports nutrients and oxygen to all parts of our body so they can continue to function. But, what is blood made up of? Blood is made up of plasma and blood cells. Plasma is the liquid part of the blood and is made up of 90% water and 10% nutrients, proteins and other substances. There are three types of blood cells. Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And they all have different functions. 
Red blood cells, also called erythrocytes, are in charge of carrying oxygen from our lungs to all parts of the body. White blood cells, also called leukocytes, are responsible for fighting germs. They are like soldiers floating in the blood to fight viruses and disease-causing bacteria. Platelets, also called thrombocytes, help the blood to clot. For example, when we have a wound, the platelets move quickly to create a kind of plug or glue in the wound so that no more blood comes out. They form what we call a scab. Isn't blood and the whole human body just amazing? If you want to know more about blood, circulatory system, and learn many more things, subscribe to our website at happylearning.tv. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Heart is the muscle that works the most in our whole body. It beats a hundred thousand times a day and pumps five litres of blood every minute. And it never ever rests. According to the Texas Heart Institute, if the heart was a fountain, its power would make blood reach 10 meters high! The human heart is able to beat during some time outside of our body since it generates its own electrical impulses. Did you know that listening to music while you're exercising helps oxygenate the heart? It turns out that music increases the diameter of blood vessels and makes the blood flow a lot better. Although, <laughs> we don't know if reggaeton also helps the heart. <laughs> Laughter <laughs> has incredible benefits on the heart since it is able to increase blood circulation so everyone has to have fun <laughs> and make others laugh the truth is that the heart is the engine in our body and we need to take care of it we need to eat healthy and do lots and lots of physical exercise goodbye happy friends see you in the next happy learning video search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.